Hello, welcome to another vlog. How many times can I wear these sweatshirts? I have two of them without you guys judging me. They're just like the most comfortable thing. And when I work from home all day, this is just the uniform. I'm wearing my sweatshirt and then I have on my Spanx full leather leggings and my new boots. I don't know if I showed you guys these in my last vlog. I don't think I did. I also can't believe I just walked on the carpet in my boots. I am not a shoes in the house kind of person at all. Let me know down below if you guys wear your shoes in the house or not. So Adam just got home and we are going to make some dinner. He actually did, came up with a bunch of recipes for us to make this week. So they're all new recipes. These are my boots. I am totally obsessed with them. I love them so much. They are um, water resistant. They do have like the tr treads, yeah on the bottom so they're gonna be really good for winter and they're nice and like fuzzy and warm i will link them down below for you guys they are 20 percent off right now i think so hopefully they still are and they do have brown laces as well if you're not into the like thick mauve color laces so yeah let's adam's uh, blowing the leaves right now in the front yard but when he gets back we'll cook dinner chef adam tell us what we're making Gnocchi with spinach and pepper sauce. Oh, this is the one that we need the spinach for. So we have the gnocchi. I cannot say that word. Gnocchi? So hard. Is that it? No. No. Um, peppers and water, do we need this? If you guys haven't bought this garlic yet, it is like the best thing ever instead of mincing garlic. Don't you think? It works pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, what do we gotta do? The sauce is all whipped up in here. It actually looks like a carrot flavor, doesn't it? And then in this pot, we have the spinach, gnocchi, olive oil, and some cheese. And we're just waiting for the spinach to wilt. And then over here, we've got some garlic bread just finishing up. So we're just playing the waiting game on this and then we can stir everything together. This is it, our finished meal. We will report back on how it is. <laughs> what do you think about dinner? Just kidding. All right, we just ate. It was okay. It was all right. Uh, it needed a little more spice. I mean- the, He said that last time, guys, remember? The gnocchi is good. I mean, spinach is spinach, it's just wilted. Um, the sauce overall, I mean, it had Good flavor, it just yeah. needed a little more something to give it some spice. I don't know if that's maybe some cumin. The camera died. Anyway, as you were saying. It just needs another, some more spice. It might be some additional red pepper, crushed red pepper, some cumin. Something that just gives it a little more, it was pretty mild. Yeah, so I, it wasn't bad, it just are needs, you, it just needs some flavor. Are you turning into a food critic? How many stars? Hmm. I'd probably give it three to three and a half. How many thumbs? I've only got two, so that's not it. So how many? I'd give it one to one and a half thumbs. On a scale of one to 10? Probably a six and a half. Why are you being so loud? Oh my gosh, it is, it's almost a nine. Um, I'm going to do that Erno Laszlo uh, peel off mask that I got in the last vlog. You could not pour a drink louder. Hey, it's gonna overflow. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, this is the um, instant hydrator. I think it's a one time mask. I didn't realize that. So I need, it's like a science experiment. I need to get a little bowl. Okay, I'm going to put my hair up because it says that you have to put this on right after. I don't want it to dry at all. Basically, you just put the two things in a bowl and mix them together. So I have a little mixing bowl. I 
have this, which is the Hydrotherapy Skin Vitality Treatment. Oh, this is just step one. I don't know why I'm spelling it. And it has this little spatula. And then this is step two. And it's a little powder. Okay, so I'm going to put the liquid in. And then the powder. And it says stir vigorously for 35 to 40 seconds. I think it said are for 45 to 60 seconds. And it said until consistency is a liquid mousse with powdery flex. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to run into the bathroom and put it on really quick and then I will show you guys when I'm done. All right, I look scary. This is the consistency got really thick really fast. Like it is not easy to spread if you don't put it on right away. So it says to dry for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll take it off. Last time I did one of these, <laughs> I almost cried. It was so painful. So let's not do that tonight. <laughs> okay, it's been, it's been actually longer than, it's been like a half hour and some of it still isn't dried, but then some of it is crusty. So I'm going to try to peel this off. I don't think it's all gonna peel off in like one thing though. I feel like I did something wrong and I don't know what because I followed the directions. Maybe some of it, I just let it dry too much because it said um, let it dry for like 15 minutes but then it still felt wet. So I let it continue drying but the parts that still feel wet are the parts that are peeling off. So maybe that was I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna just go rinse the rest of this off because it is not just peeling off. And I feel like that's gonna be the easiest way for me to get it off. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday afternoon. I just stopped in to Lowe's. I've told you guys a bunch of times about the saga of my office and the lighting in there, basically how it's non-existent. And to put a, a light in the ceiling, because my house is older, the walls in that room are plaster. Anyway, it would be a big ordeal to put an actual like wired light in. So I decided to do a hanging lamp. And so I found a couple and they're like 80 to like $150. And so I found that you can just buy the stuff for it. So I went to Lowe's and picked up this kit, which has the chain and the wire. And then also the hooks are back here somewhere. And then I also got the little thing that the bomb goes into. Hopefully that's all I need for that. And then I just pulled up to Target and I'm going to get the lampshade for it. So let's go inside. home and the problem was I got the wrong part so that is why I was incapable of doing this earlier so now that we have the right part we're good to go I think all I have to do is put this little piece on the bottom with this little screw I'm so excited about my light. I feel like it looks so much better. All right, so I officially have light. I will link all of the parts down below. It was exponentially less expensive to buy the supplies and just make it and have it be the shade and the chain color that I wanted than it was to buy the actual swag chandelier from a shop online. So, very happy with it. 
Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's like 5.30, I haven't checked in yet today. I just had a crazy day, but I just got back from the eye doctor. I went again. I've been trying to get fitted for contacts and I got trials and they were incredibly uncomfortable. And so now I'm in my second set of trials to see if those are comfortable so that I can be a normal human and just wear contacts. But I have astigmatism in both of my eyes. So apparently that makes it harder. I don't know. Anyway, Adam just got home from work and he got some pumpkins because he wanted to make pumpkin seeds. I personally do not like pumpkin seeds, so I'm not partaking in this, but I figured I would share how he makes them in case any of you guys are interested. So yeah. So at this point, all of the seeds have been pulled from the pumpkin. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put them in the sink and let them float. So clog the sink, fill it with about three to four inches of water, cold water, and let it float. And that gets all the grime and the slime of the pumpkin off. You kind of move them around a little bit, pull them out, put them into a colander. You might've noticed I put a bowl in the sink. That's not necessary. We do not have a drain plug. So I improvised with a rubber peg and a bowl on top of that to create the weight. So that's not necessary. Um, all of the seeds are now out into the colander and you might find some pumpkin in there that's fine you'll get rid of that in a second we're going to lay all the pumpkin seeds out on paper towel and pad dry them so that they're not wet any longer you can see all the pumpkin seeds are laid out across the paper towel the idea is to have it all a single layer so that it's not on top of one another and you, we can dry everything just lay the paper towel on top and pat lightly to try and absorb the moisture. You don't need to push hard, and some of the pumpkin seeds will stick to the paper towel on top. Okay, now that the seeds are dry, we'll take and we'll place them on a baking sheet. I line it with aluminum foil, um, just because they do stick some, even though I spray with cooking spray on the pan, it's still gonna stick some, and it's just gonna be easier to get it off the pan if I can lift the aluminum foil. Now that they are on the pan, you saw me season them. Uh, I just use salt. That's my preference. I don't, and they, there's a lot of other ways out there. Preheat the oven uh, to 325, cook it at a low temperature. You just kind of have to watch it. Um, depending on the size of the seeds, how uh, much you distribute it across the pan, it may take 20 minutes. It may take a bit longer. I check it as it goes. So you can see they're cooking. Um, it's been 20 minutes. I tasted them and they're not quite done. You can see some of them are starting to brown a little bit, which is fine, that means they're getting closer to done, but when you bite into it, you can still taste some moisture, so you wanna make sure that all that moisture is gone. I'll try another five minutes and see where they're at. Okay, so the first batch is done. Uh, they ended up taking roughly 30 to 35 minutes, and like I said, each batch, depending on the pumpkins and depending on the size of the seeds, so each year it's a little bit different. So these ones are done. You can see they have a little bit of brown to them which is fine that helps you let you know that they're done but these are all set second batch is in and then we'll be done so i'll let them cool down a little bit and then i'll just throw them in a container and enjoy this is pre-transformation while well, he still looks like my cutie boyfriend all right go shave adam is in the bathroom shaving and i just set up like a makeup station in the dining room so this is what we're gonna do this is what I grabbed for him. Oh my gosh. No facial hair, Adam. We're gonna do a little bit of contouring. Close your eyes. What's that? Setting spray. Gotta make sure it stays all night. <laughs> What? No, it's not. You can't look. This is his finished makeup look. Do you feel beautiful? 
Sure. <laughs> okay, you can go look. <laughs> what? Boy. <laughs> His OOTD is coming together. This sweater is from Beachy. Do you have a code for them? Maybe. I'll share it later. This is the final transformation. Boots with the fur. My Vici sweater, beanie, the little with love Sarah medallion, and wrap bracelet, and my favorite nail polish. How do you feel like me? Weird. I have the easiest costume on the planet. I am Arthur. All right, babe, ready? All right, guys, I'm going to close out the vlog there. Thank you so much for watching this week in my life. I did get my Everly Well results back like over a week ago, so I will go over them. I'm gonna start a new vlog. I'll go over them in this week's vlog, so you'll see it in the next one. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.